Hey everyone, I'm so glad to be back and to do a video and I wanted to start off with a tag video today. Um, it's an old tag, it's the 15 um, weird facts, the get your freak on tag that I never did. And these are just some really weird questions, but I thought it would be fun to do. It would be fun to do like a first video coming back um, that's just kind of light and fun. So the first question in the... Um, tag is what is a nickname only your family calls you and I don't really have any nicknames really um, one of the reasons why my parents named me Heather is because they said they didn't want to name me a name where people you know would abbreviate it and like give you a short name and call you something else so my family never really called me um, any nicknames I mean sometimes you know like I had aunts and stuff that would you know, make up little songs and stuff like Heather, how's the weather, you know, that sort of type of thing. But no unusual nicknames. Now, my boyfriend, he is the nickname King. He has a nickname for everybody and their brother, you know, the postman, you know. Everybody has a nickname. So he has thousands, you know, for me. Um, it's Tink, Tink Bink, Tinkerbell, <laughs> I mean, you name it, he's come up with it. Um, Beth, he calls me, I mean, really random names, but as for family, like, nothing really major. Um, what's a weird habit of yours? Um, I don't believe that I have, like, any major, like, weird habits other than, um, I don't mean, I don't know if it's weird, but. I do, like, I'm a picker. Like, I pick at my cuticles. I pick at my face. I, I just pick. Like, I constantly, like, I bite my nails. If I have acrylics on, I will bite them off. Um, but, you know, I know a lot of people who do that, so I don't really know if that's weird. But it is definitely a habit, and it's not something that um, I'm proud of, really, because, I mean, it's not good to pick, you know, it makes your hands look bad, it makes your face look bad, it messes up your nails, you shouldn't pick, but I do, so oh well, <laughs> and the third question is, do you have, oops, sorry, do you have any weird phobias, um, yes, I have a phobia, and, and like I said, you know, to each his own on how weird it is, but I am terrified, terrified of rats, and like, mice. And I mean, I know a lot of people don't like mice, but you don't understand, like, I mean, I have cried before because I saw one, like, I mean, as an adult, like, if I saw one now, I would be so petrified that it would make me want to cry. Like, I just hate them. I think I hate them worse than a snake. There's something about a rat or a mice that just, it just gives me the ibby jibbies. And, you know, even as a kid, you know, like, that time of year when they're out and they're crawling around and people have like mouse traps out and stuff, you know, when the cold weather comes in, it's still, you know, just one of those things where I don't even like to think about it. Like, I don't even want to stay in a house if there's like a possibility that there's a rat in it. Like, I'll go to someone, I'll go to my grandma's house or I'll, you know, I'll move out <laughs> if there's a rat. So that is my probably biggest phobia. And the other phobia really is just, um, I guess like being like, kind of like in a huge, huge crowd where you can't get out. I don't really like big, loud, noisy crowds. I just get a lot of anxiety, but I would say rats would definitely be my like most, my biggest one. Number four, what's the song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you are alone? Gosh, that is so tough. Um, I don't really know. I guess I, I, I belt out. When I'm in the house, I sing all the time. Or if I'm just, you know, goofing around with friends, I belt out stuff all the time. So I don't really have one particular song. Um, but I do sing a lot of old cheesy songs. Like, um, just songs from movies. Like, you know, Disney movies and stuff like that. I'll belt out and just be all goofy and funny with. Um, number five, what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, my biggest pet peeve, hmm, I don't know. I, I mean, I do have a lot of them, but I don't really know. Probably my biggest, one of my biggest ones would be, I 
I don't know. I guess I hate it when people smack. Like, and I am guilty of this. Like, but it's one of those things I can smack, but I don't want anyone else to. <laughs> Which is not fair. Because I'm a guilty smacker. But I mean, like, in the morning time, I'm really sensitive to sounds. Like, I don't like to hear someone smack their cereal. I don't like to hear someone smack or slurp their coffee. I, I just hate that. But at the same time, I know there are times when it's hard not to. Like when you're sipping hot cocoa, it's hard not to slurp. I mean, it's, it's hard sometimes. It just slips out, you know. I'm guilty of it too. And, and my boyfriend has the same kind of pet peeve, so he lets me know, you know, like how they're soft. <laughs> and so I know it's hard, but I hate to listen to other people do it to the point where it just I have to leave the room sometimes so that's probably a big one um number six what is a nervous habit um a nervous habit is um let's see uh I guess I play with my hair you know like I'll, I'll play with my hair a lot like if I'm real nervous I'll do this or now when I get sleepy I'll like scratch my face and rub my eyes and <laughs> do all that sort of type of thing. If I'm, you know, tired or just ill, I'll rub my face a lot. But if I'm nervous, I probably play with my hair or bite my nails. Bite my nails or play with my hair. That's probably a nervous habit. Um, number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? Um, typically, I sleep on the right side if you're facing the bed. If you're laying in the bed, the left side. But if you're facing the bed, the right side. Um, and I don't know why, but when I really think about it, I always have in every bed. Number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and its name? My first stuffed animal, I don't really remember, to be honest with you, because I had a lot of stuffed animals. I had one of those canopy, um, like, you know, things that hold a ton of stuffed animals. And that's what I remember. I remember having, like, a bunch of Care Bears and, like, I had a cabbage patch doll, but as far as my first stuffed animal, I have no clue. Um, number nine, what what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Um, I do love Starbucks, and I try to switch it up. Like now that it's fall time, I love all the fall flavors. I so when I go, I pretty much always order something pumpkin. It's my favorite, favorite time of year, favorite. I love it. Favorite, you know drink is like pumpkin latte or pumpkin frappuccino depending if I want hot or cold so that's what I'll order in the summertime um I probably usually order um either like a I'll get a cold drink usually either like a caramel frappuccino or a caramel latte or not latte but macchiato you know just something like that um I like the chai tea as well so, I'll, I normally do more cold, though, in the summer. So, but fall time, it's all about the pumpkin. Number 10, what's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? Um, gosh, I don't know because I don't, the only one, I mean, I do preach a lot of beauty rules at work because I am a hairstylist. So, while I'm fixing people's hair, I constantly am told, you need to do this, you know, and if you have, you know, highlights, you need to make sure that, you know, you use heat protectants and, you know, use leave-in conditioners, you know, and I'm always telling people what they need to do there. But on YouTube, I really don't. I mean, you know, I think to each his own. Um, I do fall asleep in my makeup a lot. So, I don't necessarily, I don't preach that, though. So, but that is a beauty rule that I know that I'm not supposed to do. And if someone asked me, I would probably say, you know, yeah, you need to always take off your makeup. But I don't. So I'm guilty of that. And probably, I mean, I'm pretty good about using a heat protectant. But I will say there are times when I'm in a hurry and I'm lazy and I don't use heat protectant. And in my mind, I'm going, Heather, you need to use a heat protectant. But I just don't. So, I, I don't do that all the time, like I should, anyways. I'm good about it, but I do slip, you know, often, so. Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? 
I usually, I start off, I kind of rotate, <laughs> but I usually always start off in the shower um, facing the shower. So, because normally I don't, like I don't wash my hair every day, so a lot of times I start off facing the shower just to get warm. I like a really hot shower, and if I'm not washing my hair, you know, it's easier because I'm not getting my hair wet. And then I'll slowly kind of rotate, you know, and if I'm washing my hair, I'll do it usually last, so... Um, number 12, no, 13, 12, 12, <laughs> can't count, number 12, do you have any weird body skills, um, no, not really, <laughs> I don't do anything cool, the only thing I will say is I'm double jointed, um, so like when I was in school, whenever I used to do cheerleading and stuff, um, it was very noticeable. I don't really know that that's a body skill, but like when I would hold my arms up, it was really like I had to make like a conscious effort to straighten my arms because naturally they just bow out. And I double jointed there. I'm double jointed in my fingers. Um, so yeah, I'm double jointed, but I don't really, I don't know if you would really consider that, you know, a body skill. <laughs> Number 13, what's your favorite comfort food? Food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyways. Um, I love, 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 like, chips and dip, like, really bad chips and dips. But I don't really eat it that often, um, but I will, like, if I ever go to, like, one of those, you know, like, house parties, like a football party or a, you know, like, housewarming where they have, like, the homemade, like, dip, like, the the cheese dip or the chili cheese dip or even just the homemade ranch dip. I could sit and eat that and eat that and eat that until I was just sick. I love it. And I also love ranch dressing. I dip everything in ranch dressing, so that can totally make a salad unhealthy because I don't, like, I'm not crazy about the light ranch dressing. You know, I like the real homemade ranch dressing. So that's probably, it's not really a comfort food, but um, it's something that, you know, I could eat and eat everything on. You know, chicken, french fries. <laughs> I could dip it all in ranch, and it's totally, you know, bad for you. But also just chips and dip. I love, like, that sort of type of thing. I could just have tons of it. And not get tired of it. Um, let's see. Number 14. What's a phrase or exclamation you always say? Um, I always say... What do I always say? Hmm. So I, I, sometimes I'll say, oh, well, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> And, and I'll hear myself say it, and I'm like, no, Heather, that's not cool. <laughs> but I do, I'll say it, and just not even, like, just a reflex, you know. I say that a lot, and um, I'm sure there's more, but I can't really think of any right now. Um, I say, um, a lot. <laughs> and moving on, um, number 15, time to sleep, what are you actually wearing? I love to wear, like, like, just the ugliest pajamas you've ever seen. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, I have had friends who they love, like, to wear, like, these cute little matching PJs and cute little, and I, I do too, but honestly, at the end of the day, when I'm tired, like, I'll put on whatever. Like, I want the, the most comfiest pair of sweatpants. I will say yoga pants are really, really super comfortable, and I've been wearing those a lot to bed with just, like, a t-shirt. Just because they're really comfortable, but yet they don't look that sloppy. So you can actually, if somebody happens to come over, you know, you don't look like, you know, a big slob. But I also love, like, just really big, comfy pajama pants, you know, or sweatpants and a shirt. It's nothing cute, I promise. It's just very, it's all about being comfortable and warm. So that's usually what I'm wearing. And I have to wear socks when I sleep. I... I don't know. I've always been that way. I feel like I need something on my feet or I feel naked. So, and I know a lot of people are the opposite. They feel smothered if they have um, socks on. So, that's my 15 weird tag or wait, blah, blah, weird question tag. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm really, really sorry. It's been a long time since I've made a video. I've just 
really been um, crazy busy. I have just recently moved to a new hair salon. Um, it's um, been just the best decision I've ever made. I'm absolutely loving it there. I'm very, very happy and I love my coworkers and everything, but it's been very, very like busy and stressful as well because it's happened like within the last three, three to four weeks. So I've been moving everything over and um, just trying to get a, you know situated there, and it's all new to me. So changing jobs and you know getting everything, all my clients that I had there, I had to call and you know send out things and and move them over with me. So it's been a big adjustment, but it's been one of the best decisions, and I could not be happier. But I hope to get more into YouTube now. I've got several more videos that I want to make. So. Please keep watching. I would love to hear your comments and video requests. I do have um, maybe a fall lipstick um, video coming up of my favorite picks. But I hope to see you more soon and do more videos. And I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.